wanted to start off by showing you some footage of the surrounding area where we had to search for the drone. As you can see, there were many different types of cactus and other things that we had to avoid while walking out in the desert. We even saw a Gila monster on one of our trips. My brother Paul was unfortunate and tripped and stumbled into the ground. And this is what happened. Um, another attempt to retrieve my drone. I'm heading out to meet my brother with his Jeep. Pretty sure we found it uh, with the last video that Charlie took. It's about 6.20 a.m. I'm real excited, kind of nervous. I'm stopped at the stoplight, so I gotta put this up and I'll keep you posted. Okay, I'm in the parking lot at the Arizona Game and Fish. It's about 6.41 a.m. I'm supposed to meet at 7. I'm a little early. So, I'm still getting a little excited about going to find my drone. I think it's been since first part of August. So, it's been definitely over two months that it's been out there in the desert waiting for me to come and find it. Well, I'm shooting most of this video on my cell phone. So if it looks a little different, there you go. So, uh, it's gonna, I gotta do some hiking up a small little mountain and um, I gotta do a little bit of rock climbing maybe. So I don't wanna lug along my big camera. So there you go. All right, well, here I am. Heading up the wash, I got to climb basically to the top of that hill right there to find my drone. Zoom in here a little bit. It's not that bad, but it's not that great either, but oh well. I'll try to walk a little bit with it, but it's probably going to be too bouncy. I'm using my cell phone, and of course I forgot my gimbal. Oh well. Uh, I didn't really want to bring it anyway, it's just extra weight, so, okay, okay, I know it doesn't look bad, but it kind of is, from my perspective, so I got to make it up here, and then it's fairly easily walk up to the drone, a little bit of a walk, but, at least it's semi-flat going uphill. 
All right, here we go. I'm gonna put you away. Okay, I made it up the steep part there. You can see I'm up a little ways. Try to go slow. Hope this comes out. All right, so I gotta go up there and I believe that cactus with all the little spikes at the top it's just to the left of that, I believe. Okay. Okay. I'm definitely out of breath going uphill. Based on my research, that cactus right there is the major landmark. And it should be to the left over here by that bush or whatever you want to call it right there. Should be just to the right of that. So let's take a walk. I think the reason I missed it before, if it's there, is because it was so close to the drop off. And I kind of stayed away from the drop off areas. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Look at that. Is that a drone or what? Yes. Yay. It's only taken, I think, five or six times coming out here to find it. And, uh, oh my God, I hope it's just not in too bad a shape. Well, the propellers are still on. The gimbal is still there. Holy mackerel. I wonder if it hit this bush and then uh, somehow got underneath there. Let me come around this way. Yeah, see it's pretty close to the fairly sharp drop off. So let me sneak around here. You can't imagine how happy I am. Even if it's destroyed, I wanted to be able to find it. And there it is, folks. There it is. Okay. Let me see if I can dig it out of there. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Well, hopefully there's nothing down here that will bite me. All right, so here we go. It's now back in its daddy's hands. Oh my goodness. Let me take that little branch off there. Wow, the, the props don't look too bad. Let's see. I'll probably wind up changing the props anyway. Um, I gotta inspect it a lot closer, but offhand, I don't see any cracks or anything. Maybe the uh, bush, uh, let's check the gimbal real quick. Maybe the bush softened the landing. It's kind of muddy. Seems like it's working. Okay. All right, happy camper Rick. I'm super stoked. All right, so I am going to turn off the camera. I'm gonna contact my brother with a uh, walkie talkie and um, which is a good safety thing and uh, tell him I'm on my way back and I should be to the Jeep in about uh, 15 minutes, I think. All right, people. Again, a successful recovery after a major crash in the middle of the desert. Okay, I'm getting to the 
bottom of this little mountain, if you want to call it that. And down there where it drops off is the most dangerous part again. Here, let me stop. I know it's all herky-jerky, but... Sorry. Got my walking stick, looking out for snakes. I've only tripped about 500 times coming down on all the loose rock. Gotta be very careful. I'll take a look over this way. You can see how rugged it is out here and uh, how lucky I was to find it. So, but with lots of research from myself and primarily Charlie and uh, some other people who helped out a little bit, but it was mostly Charlie and me. And it was Charlie's video that I was watching that I found it. The videos that I took, uh, never, I could never see it in that, those. So, okay. So we're kind of getting close. I'm gonna have to put you down here in a second. So as you can see, it's kind of a drop off there. My brother Paul and his Jeep is over there past that little clearing, tucked in the shade of the trees. So I'm gonna contact him now and tell him I'm at the uh, semi-dangerous place and then I'll call him again when I get, if and when I make it down. All right, so, and uh, maybe I'll do that with the video too.